After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, or Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd was following him because they had seen the signs, attesting miracles which he continually performed on those who were sick. And Jesus went up on the mountainside and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the feast of the Jews, was approaching. Jesus looked up and saw that a large crowd was coming toward him. And he said to Philip, where will we buy bread for these people to eat? But he said this to test Philip, comma, because he knew what he was about to do. Philip answered, 200 denarii, 200 days wages. Worth of bread is not enough for each one to receive even a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there is a little boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what are these for so many people? Jesus said, have the people sit down to eat. Now the ground there was covered with an abundance of grass. So the men sat down, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated, the same also with the fish, as much as they wanted. When they had eaten enough, he said to his disciples, gather up the leftover pieces so that nothing will be lost. So they gathered them up, and they filled twelve large baskets with pieces from the five barley loaves which were left over by those who had eaten. When the people saw the sign, a testing miracle that he had done, they began saying, This is without a doubt the promised prophet who is to come into the world. Then Jesus, knowing that they were going to come, and take him by force to make him king, withdrew again to the mountainside by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, and they got into a boat, and started to cross the sea to Capernaum. It was already dark, and Jesus had still not come back to them. The sea was getting rough and rising high because a strong wind was blowing. Then, when they had rowed three or four miles and were near the center of the sea, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and approaching the boat, and they were terribly frightened. But Jesus said to them, It is I, I am, do not be afraid. Then they were willing to take him on board the boat, and immediately the boat reached the shore of the land to which they were going. The next day the crowd that stood on the other side of the sea realized that there had been only one small boat there, and that Jesus had not boarded the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. Now some other small boats from Tiberias had come in near the place where they ate the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they boarded the small boats themselves, and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, you have been searching for me, not because you saw the signs, the testing miracles, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for food that endures and leads to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For God the Father has authorized him and put his seal on him. Then they asked him, what are we to do so that we may habitually be doing the works of God? Jesus answered, This is the work of God, that you believe adhere to, trust in, rely on, and have faith in the one whom he has sent. So they said to him, What sign, a testing miracle will you do that we may see it and believe you? What supernatural work will you do? As proof, our fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written, in scripture, he gave them bread out of heaven to eat. Then Jesus said to them, I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread out of heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread out of heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down out of heaven, and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, always give us this bread. Jesus replied to them, I am the bread of life. The one who comes to me will never be hungry, and the one who believes in me, as Savior, will never be thirsty, for that one will be sustained spiritually. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All that my Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will most certainly not cast out. I will never, never reject anyone who follows me. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but to do the will of him who sent me. This is the will of him who sent me, that of all that he has given me I lose nothing, but that I give new life, and raise it up at the last day. For this is my Father's will and purpose, that everyone who sees the Son, and believes in him, as Savior, will have eternal life, and I will raise him up from the dead on the last day. Now the Jews murmured and found fault with him because he said, I am the bread that came down out of heaven. They kept saying, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How does he now have the arrogance to say, I have come down out of heaven? So Jesus answered, Stop murmuring among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, giving him the desire to come to me. And I will raise him up from the dead on the last day. 
It is written in the prophets, and they will all be taught of God. Everyone who has listened to and learned from the Father, comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except he, who was with the Father and, who is from God, he, alone, has seen the Father. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, he who believes in me as Savior, whoever adheres to, trusts in, relies on, and has faith in me already, has eternal life, that is, now possesses it. I am the bread of life, the living bread which gives and sustains life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down out of heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down out of heaven. If anyone eats of this bread believes in me, accepts me as Savior, he will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh, body. Then the Jews began to argue with one another, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? And Jesus said to them, I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood unless you believe in me as Savior, and believe in the saving power of my blood which will be shed for you, you do not have life in yourselves. The one who eats my flesh and drinks my blood believes in me, accepts me as Savior, has eternal life, that is, now possesses it, and I will raise him up from the dead, on the last day. For my flesh is true, spiritual, food, and my blood is true, spiritual, drink. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood believes in me, accepts me as Savior, remains in me, and I, in the same way remain in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, even so the one who feeds on me believes in me, accepts me as Savior, will also live because of me. This is the bread which came down out of heaven. It is not like, the manna that, our fathers ate and they, eventually, died. The one who eats this bread believes in me, accepts me as Savior, will live forever. He said these things in a synagogue while he was teaching in Capernaum. When many of his disciples heard this, they said, this is a difficult and harsh and offensive statement. Who can be expected to listen to it? But Jesus, aware that his disciples were complaining about it, asked them, Does this cause you to stumble and take offense? What then will you think if you see the Son of Man ascending to the realm where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh conveys no benefit, it is of no account. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life providing eternal life. But, still, there are some of you who do not believe, and have faith. For Jesus knew from the beginning who did not believe, and who would betray him. And he was saying, This is the reason why I have told you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted him, that is, unless he is enabled to do so by the Father. As a result of this many of his disciples abandoned him, and no longer walked with him. So Jesus said to the twelve disciples you do not want to leave too, do you? Simon Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of eternal life, you are our only hope. We have believed and confidently trusted and, even more, we have come to know, by personal observation, and experience that you are the Holy One of God, the Christ, the Son of the Living God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve, disciples? And yet one of you is a devil, alley of Satan. Now he was speaking of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, for he, one of the twelve disciples, was about to betray him. John chapter 6 verses 1 to 71 Amplified.